Good afternoon, Bobcats, and welcome to BBTV, your home for Buffett News. Today is Tuesday, April 10th, 2018. My name is Tyranny, bringing you the news that matters. As always, let's begin with the daily announcements. Seventh graders, are you interested in traveling to the Big Apple over spring break next year? Please bring an adult you live with and attend the informational meeting about the spring break New York City trip tonight from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. in the Buffett Library. Dates, costs, and fundraising will be discussed. Students, join the 7th and 8th grade drama club students as they perform the light in the library after school today at 3.30 p.m. in the Buffett Library. Tickets are $2 for adults and $1 for students. That's it for the announcements today, Bobcats. Now let's over to Kayla and Nick for two quick news stories on fun project in music class and a local business getting a lot of buzz. Buffett musicians took part in a fun activity in their music class. Miss Badley and her students recently finished up their unit of studying poetry and rap. As a final project, students were challenged to turn in one of their favorite poems into a rap. Students had a lot of fun using concepts learned in class such as the rhythmic flow and meter change. Seventh grade Michaela Thompson was one of those students involved in this class that created a rap. Check it out. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. I'm not recording. I'm not recording. All the king's horses and all the king's men could have put Humpty together again. Humpty Dumpty! Humpty Dumpty! Humpty Dumpty! Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had great fall. All the king's horses, all the king's men could have put Humpty together again. Say Humpty! Two local Omaha women are gaining some nationwide attention for a business they recently started. Ashley Sturr and Sean Saylors started a hand lettering business called Handmade in the Heartland. The company specializes in designing t-shirts, mugs, and pins. About half the work they, they design is on the computer, but the other half they create completely by hand. These two women recently gained the attention after a popular website, BuzzFeed, featured their products. Along with these products, the two also created a children's book featuring handwritten text. What's up, Bobcats? This is Lionel, here in the sports room to get you updated on all things sports. Today is Tuesday, which means it's time for your BBT Blue Weekend Recap, where we look at the big games over the weekend. This weekend, the Masters, which is the biggest golf tournament of the year in August, year in Augustus, Georgia, when the overall tournament was Patrick Reed. Also, the Frozen Four took place in college hockey. They have completed all of the brackets except for the national championship game that took place yesterday between the Minnesota Dolch and the Notre Dame. We will um, get you caught up with these results at a later date. For Buffett Sports, we have boys and girls JV soccer games at King Signs. Good luck to both. That's all the time in the sports zone. Now over to the entertainment corner. Good afternoon, Bobcats. This is Mariah bringing you coverage of everything important to you and your free time. Welcome to the entertainment corner. Today we are going to be checking out the world of music. We all know every month here at Buffett, students enjoy brand new past and period music. But do you know the songs for this month? Chosen by student council, the songs for the month all follow this, a special 90s theme. Beginning, at your, beginning your school day as you walk to block one, two, you're listening to the song Every Little Step I Take by Bobby Brown. Moving into block three, four, you'll hear Dance With Somebody by Whitney Houston. Next, going to your long block five, six, we have Cool It Down by New Edition. 
heading to your locker as you move into the block 7-8 you'll be singing straight up by Paula Abdul and finally ending off the day you'll hear Hammer Time by MC Hammer that's all the time in the entertainment corner now let's head over to Twitter to see what our teachers are tweeting about Looks like the wheel has landed on faith and humanity. This means that we'll be talking about a positive story that focuses on the good side of life. Today we will have a special message from Mr. CK about a contest that the Buffett Green Team is putting on. Check it out! Buffett staff and students, did you know that Buffett has its very own Green Committee? The Green Committee needs your help with their mission to encourage and teach others about the importance of conserving our resources and reducing waste. Because we take pride in our school and always strive to do our best, we ask that you get caught recycling, picking up trash, turning off lights, reusing or repurposing old materials. Staff, we want you to tweet picture examples when you see Bobcats supporting the Green Committee mission. We would like you to add at green underscore Buffett with the hashtag keeping Buffett beautiful. The team with the most tweets by April 19th will earn popsicles during Bobcat Den on April 20th from a special green guest. In addition, to encourage your conservation efforts and honor Earth Day, we have a green out on Friday, April 20th. Students and staff may wear green in support of keeping Buffett beautiful. That's going to do it for our broadcast today, Bobcats. For more info on many of the stories you've heard and to see what we're working on for future episodes, be sure to follow our Twitter page, at BuffettBBTV. Signing off, this has been Tyranny. Have a great day, Bobcats. Mm -hmm.